So here is a classic problem. So we're, we're mapping in the wake of a disaster, right? Limited time, not a whole lot of planning. Get out here, map. As you can see right now, the shadow, the sun, it's about four o'clock in the afternoon in December. So the shadow is nice and long. So we don't have even illumination. Um, so we have one ravine, pretty steep ravine on this side. I'm on a little promontory where we have our uh, ground control point. And then right over here, another really steep ravine, again, coming in and out of shadow. So uh, not the most, uh, not the best time to map, but uh, given that we're trying to get stuff as quickly as possible and avoid uh, conflicts with other uh, recovery personnel, uh, it, 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 it's a classic problem. So, we'll, so PIX4D, our, our photo stitching software, is still going to work for us and, and it'll give us some nice topography but maybe not as accurate as we like. So we're gonna have to come back here and refly this in better light to add some additional um, accuracy in all likelihood. It's hard to know until we actually see it, but there's a good chance, as you can tell just from looking over here, the visual contrast is pretty steep. So you're gonna lose a lot of the, or at least some of the topographic specificity that you could get if you had it nice and evenly lit. Now, ultimately you're gonna want in an ideal situation, you want some shadows. Those shadows are gonna help bring out definition. So it's really, you don't want it pure straight up and down sunlight. You don't want it pure, uh, you know, slanting horizontal sunlight. Um, so it's always a bit of a game in trying to figure out the best way to map, particularly when you have limited time and limited resources.